All right, here's an impromptu subject for a, a video. So I'm gonna be installing a bunch of old games I used to play on my ThinkPad T60P, which is an incredibly similar laptop to what I used to have as a kid. Um, I think we just had like a base uh, T60 and also a Dell, which was from around the same time. So it was very similar specs, but this one is about as good as you could get for a business laptop at the time. Here, let me move this up a little closer. Um, let's turn it on. All right, there we go. So I do have an SSD in that, so I'll give it the best chance for a speedy installation of a bunch of random junk. Um, I did replace the screen on that, and I think there's like an issue on this side, but I don't think it's coming through on the screen or coming through on the camera. Let's get started. Let's do Halo Combat Evolved first because I think this is one of the, the earlier PC games I, I bought, one of the early M-rated games I bought. You know, I just convinced my parents, hey, look, it's aliens and stuff. So let's install that. Oh, this, I, have, I still have the original receipt also. That's crazy. All right, Best Buy, Los Angeles, California, 90064, store number 109. Um, yeah. Pretty interesting. I do remember being in the store that day. What day was it? It was July 25th, 2007. Disc. I do think there's some updates I'd need to get from the internet. All right, there we go. Let's see. Express install, automatically do the program files. Okay, let me just do that. CD key. All right, me. All right, welcome to Halo Setup. This is my Microsoft product ID number. If I need to call Microsoft for technical support, I will be asked for this number. Well, I'm, I'm good. Maybe I can call them and ask them how to install Halo for Windows XP. All right, there it goes. It's installing. Uh, let's take a look. Will this focus? All right, minimum requirements. Uh, 128 megabytes of RAM. I think we're, we're good there. 733 megahertz processor. I think we're also good there. 32 megabytes of VRAM. All right, while that goes, I might as well go try to download the patch um, because that will allow me to use the fucking game without, well, use as default browser, sure. Yeah, it'll allow me to play the game without using the CD. Okay, official patch 1.2 for Halo Combat Evolved includes all previous patches. 2018, wow, that's a... They supported this game for quite a while, so... PC Gaming Wiki. I'll download that. Sure, I'll sign my soul away. So, we have that from when Halo itself is done installing from disk. Alright, look at this, guys. It's a manual. Have you, have you seen one of these recently? Um, yep, it gives you all the, the lore and a lot of information about the stuff in the game, the enemies, the weapons, credits. I had a lot of fun with this. Like, Halo Custom Edition especially, just going online and finding the craziest, like, maps with, like, crazy weapons and, like, there was the Zelda map and there were Halo 2, like, ported maps and stuff like that. It was, it was sick. All right, it's almost done. Creating icons. All right, I guess that's done. What's the setup menu play now? We'll play later. I will patch it. All right, this one works. Okay, maybe it was like that. Unknown publisher. Sure, I trust you. The game was successfully updated. All right, and now we should be able to play the game without the disc. Just put that there for now. All right. All 
Uh, let's just go in the settings, because that's what I always like to do first. So let's make a profile. Enter new profile. ARC. Arc. Okay. Settings. Change name, patrols, mouse. The video. Change color. I want yellow. Let's do video, okay. Um, I'll keep it 800, 600. That's half the resolution of the screen. I think we pretty much... Oh, no, it doesn't even give me... Let me select 30 FPS. No V-Sync, V-Sync, 30 FPS. No V-Sync. Uh, let's do with V-Sync on. Speculars, shadows, yes, particles. Sure, I mean, it auto-set everything to the highest detail, so... All right, sounds good. All right, uh, campaign? No, uh, multiplayer. I wonder if anybody still hosts servers. Oh shit, what the fuck happened? Halo has encountered a- okay, we're, we're, we're good, we're still in Halo. I said he encountered a problem, and then is- I'm still in here. Powered by GameSpy, oh, it's probably. That might be an issue. Nope, there's servers. Alright, I think- I think the patch, um, yeah, the patch was in 2018, that was well after GameSpy was over. Wow, there's a decent amount of people, there's at least like 40 or 50 people here. 30, yeah, okay, there's at least 50 people. Blood Gulch, Halo Plastic. Exclamation point. Blood Gold's pistols. Blah, 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 blah. Zombies. So, yeah, not really much variety. It's half of these are playing Blood Gulch. Still pretty cool to see. The game just froze. <laughs> Alright, let's just do campaigns, see how the game runs. Uh, er, I, I'd do heroic, but... I also gotta stretch my arms out so I don't get in front of the camera, but... All right. What the hell are you doing? All right, enough of that. So yeah, in this port, all the animations are at 30 frames a second, even if sort of looking around at 60 frames a second. Uh, they fixed that in the uh, the re-release, but I don't know. I didn't really mind back then. All right, well, that's good. Works good, don't need the CD to play it. On to the next thing. All right, here is the next game. Um, I know you can't play Battlefield 2 online anymore, but you can still start it up and I guess start like a local game and maybe play with bots or something. Uh, we'll, f we'll find that out. But the one issue with this is, uh, I think this is four discs, because this is the deluxe edition it comes with the expansion pack and then i also got the booster packs which are just map packs so that's on one disc but they put it in this huge fucking box i guess just to make it like uniform i don't know i don't know either way we're gonna we're gonna play some battlefield 2 um honestly i think battlefield 2 was one of the best battlefield games it's, for me, it's tied between Battlefield 2 and 2142. Both of them started out super glitchy. And then, I guess by the end of their lives, they were like, yo, this game's sick. And then EA had to fucking pull the plug on them for some fucking reason, because they want people to play the garbage modern ones. Like, Battlefield 3 sucks. It's 10 tick. Um, Battlefield 4 is just like... Battlefield 4 is all right, but it's just like a different game. It's like a different, different like mindset entirely when you play that game. Um, and also, nobody plays any of the expansion shit on on any of the new battlefields. They always play only the base game. So like, if you, oh, I don't know, want to have fucking fun, there's a lot of cool modes in Battlefield 4 that nobody fucking plays online. Um, anyway, that's just a that's a separate point. That's a separate criticism. Uh, we're installing Battlefield 2 here, which nobody can play online uh, unless you like. I think there's like uh, like game ranger or some shit um but nobody really wants to set that shit up so there was battlefield to revive but ea shut that shit down so i don't know it's just it's just garbage just give us this game just give us this game exactly the same um maybe get rid of view distance and fog and shit um don't change anything don't put it in frostbite engine don't give it destructible environments just give us the same fucking game we still have 
four more discs. So it's five discs in total. I don't know why they, oh, well, I guess I know why they couldn't put it on a DVD, because not everybody had a DVD drive back then, even though I feel like a lot of people did. I don't know, maybe they would have pissed off a lot of people if they just made a DVD only, but I don't know, it's kind of lame that you gotta have so many CDs. So yeah, I'll see CDs games in a minute. All right, disc two. It took about, I don't know, I don't know how long, but. And create desktop shortcuts. All right, I got it. I know there's a, set up a finished copying file before you can use the program, you must restart your computer. I feel like that's a lie, but I'll do that anyway, um, just for completion's sake. five discs back in there. Now, um, um, all right, well, let's just start Battlefield 2. CD disc is, or the CD drive is. Now, one thing I do remember is, uh, the loading times for Battlefield 2 were absurd, so hopefully having an SSD in this computer helps that, but, um, I mean, and it really doesn't really matter because I'm not playing online. Oh my god, that's loud. That is loud. Just fuck it. All the way down. But yeah, um, going online, I remember the maps would go so long loading that I would probably miss matches just because I was stuck loading. Uh, didn't help I had a pretty bad computer, but... This opening of it was pretty sick, like, you have to admit, I think I watch this every time I booted the game up. Honestly, godlike intro, never skip. Get into an instant single player battle on the easy setting. Okay, I wonder how long it's gonna take to load. I guess I'll make a timer because I'm interested because I remember as a kid timing it and sometimes it took like 15 minutes. Um, but now that I have an SSD on this, even with such old hardware, it's like, it's loading so much faster, holy crap. Also, that theme is sick. And I'm not going to be able to hear it. I guess that's the one uh, saving grace of all the long loading times is that at least they gave you some good music to listen to. All right, join game. Wow, it's just, it's working perfect. Um, <laughs> I forgot they got like this general voice for the, uh, the tutorial stuff. Okay. Wow, the game's running really well. I can tell it's, uh, it's pretty much at 60 FPS, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's not a max settings, though. All right. Well, it's fine. The game looks fine. It's uh, probably about as good as the game will look at in general. Wait for me, buddy. A. Anderson? These aren't Chinese names. Oh shit. Oh god, no! What the fuck? I shot him like seven times. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, the bot. <laughs> well, that was goofy. Press the right mouse button. Alright, how about we do like a real class? Oh no. Um. I want to be medic because that's kind of like cheesy. Got a sick AK. I might actually just play this a lot more because it's kind of all right. I wish you could do 64 players offline. Ouch. Come on, H. Carlson, give me a ride.
Negative? You what the fuck? He denies me? Yeah, okay, this is basically uh, the online experience. <laughs> I can't believe the bot recognized my call to get in the car and then said no. Oh shit. There we go, I killed him. Couldn't quite aim, but oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't actually get hurt, just uh, kind of shell shocked there. Shit. Oh my god, the distance on the grenades, you really gotta aim it. I hit it close to him. Oh shit. A tank. He's got ammo for me, that's good. Oh, I killed somebody. Oh shit, the tank's here. Bro, like, somebody get this tank. Okay, he's giving me ammo. <laughs> Every time I use it, the bot just is like, oh, gotta give you ammo. Oh shit. <laughs> the radio voices in this game, like in any language, are like sick. It's just so nice. Uh, well, it's not nice when there's 64 players online and everybody's like constantly going like spotted. Oh, dang. Yeah, and this is pretty all right. Oh, thanks. Oh my fuck. Okay, never mind. Thank you. Just drop it. Just drop the whole thing. Just drop an ammo pack so I can get more ammo. Instead of doing the aura thing. Give me more. I only have three mags. What does he see that I don't? Oh shit. That was close. I over adjusted using the track point. And he's over here. Oh shit. Why am I, okay. Ah, the fucking single fire. I accidentally switched to single fire. Oh my fuck. No, no, oh no. Why is the bot doing this? He's acting like a real person. I cannot believe I got killed like that. All right, that that's fun. Um, I think I'm gonna call that. And I know you can use like BF2 Hub to play uh, play online still, but I don't really think anybody plays this that much. Oh wow, there's actually a ton of fucking people playing. Never mind, I'm a fucking liar. Um, but still, it like wasn't as con it's, this isn't as convenient as the revive launcher. The revive was just like install the thing and you're good to go. Well, actually, I may be lying too. It looks like this thing is just install the thing and you're good to go. So I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look at this. I think. Battlefield Revive's issue was that it actually provided a download for all of the game files, which EA really hated, so they kind of, they sicked their lawyers on them. But yeah, it looks like these servers are all super populated. Uh, there's at least, you know, a handful of servers with a lot of people on them, and then, you know, there's at least like 120 people playing. Alright, Battlefield 2 is going. Next. Um, Tribe's Vengeance. Now... I didn't really play this game that much um, because it was kind of dead by the time I got it. I found it at a garage sale when I was like, when, when, when was it, like 2009 or something? And I was like, whoa, holy shit. How many discs is this? Do I really want to try this? Disc two of, oh my God, there's four discs. It's kind of goofy that I'm doing this, but well, I don't know. Maybe there's still online servers. I have no clue. All right, 4.6 gigabytes required on C drive. That's crazy. That's more than four CDs. So, I mean, I guess all the files are compressed on the CD, but um, I guess I'm gonna be here for another hour waiting for this thing to install. Yeah, that's, I guess that's games prior to like 2007 or whatever. Wow, that's, that's pretty sick. Options. 
What's the, uh, all right, let's take a look. I think this has the, all right, this is very small, but um, I'll just say it out loud. So let's see, ATA Radeon or equivalent DX9, 32 megabyte, wait, that's minimum, 128 megabyte. Okay, this is 60, or no, 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 requires 128 megabyte graphics memory. This has 256 megabytes, so that's good. Um, Windows XP, of course. 2.5 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4. Um, this is 2.3 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, which is faster, so yeah, that's fine. 512 megabytes RAM, this is 2 gigabytes. 5 gigabytes of uncompressed hard disk space. Alright, well... I should be able to play this at a reasonable quality. I'll just do it 1024 by 768. Okay, everything's preset to high. 2.0 pixel shaders, give me those. So, instead, I guess I gotta play solo. I'm gonna do easy because I'm a pussy. Oh, is there like an entire campaign mode? Okay, that's cool. I'll lower the volume a bit. God. I don't feel like that was a pretty looking face even for 2004. Just look, there's something off about it. Whoa, fuck. That surprised the fuck out of me. I guess this was the era of, like, Halo and Half-Life 2, so everything needed to have a campaign. I don't rip that guy. I mean, as for performance, you guys are on pretty, pretty good. Per kind of perfect. Oh, shit. My character is like screaming. Shit. Oh, they, these guys are pussies. I guess I am on easy mode. Oh shit. This weapon's sick. I'm not moving, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. Wait, how many hits does it take to kill him? Ow. Your chick screams so weirdly. Okay. <laughs> she screams so odd. Oh. I don't like how your main character is constantly screaming. Your character just screams at anything. What did you think would happen? Did I just kill myself or was that the cutscene? Okay, it was the cutscene. Let's see if she's got anything worth grabbing. Beyond the obvious. Hmm. Alright, well, um, it's kind of okay. It's, it seems like a bit of a goofy game, but. Do I want to save? No, I don't want to save. Exit tribes, no. Sucks I can't get the multiplayer working, but um, there is like a, I guess a community patch that uploads or updates it with a bunch of fixes and stuff. And there's, pro there's probably a couple people that play that, but I'll probably play it sometime in my own time.
All right, next. I got Half-Life Gimmeer Edition. Um, I have lost the box too. <laughs> and just have it in this crappy jewel case. Um, I'm actually using a CD key, uh, a CD key I found somewhere off the internet, which I saved from like 2008, so. All right, what's good about this is um, the last update to non-Steam Half-Life lets you use it without CD, so. I'm just, uh, look at this. Look at that old install copy meter thing. It's nostalgic. All right, I am back. Um, I actually spent quite a long time uh, before then, all in one go, trying to get all those games installed, and it ended up just being extremely early in the morning uh, by the time I decided I had to stop. So um, I left off on Half-Life, so I just installed the base game, and then I installed all the updates. First of all, it adds the ability to play the game without uh, the disc, and second of all, you know, bug fixes, stuff like that, and also, the final update for Retail Half-Life uh, actually gives you Team Fortress 1.5, Death Deathmatch Classic, and Ricochet, the hit game Ricochet, which is, you know, beloved by Valve fans everywhere. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, start Half-Life. Now, the reason I actually like uh, using this to play Half-Life, uh, using the Retail Disc, is because the Steam version, it's gotten updates beyond, way beyond this. Um, and it actually doesn't run that well on older computers. Um, that is to say, even if your older computer could run Steam now, because I think it's, it's required to use Windows 10, um, just the Steam version of Half-Life is updated to the point where it runs very badly on older computers. So if you want to play Half-Life on an older computer, um, disregarding the fact that Steam doesn't work anymore, um, the disk is the way to go. It runs super well on, I have, I think, a ThinkPad 600, with like a Pentium 2, and it, it runs actually pretty well on that. So, and, and for this computer, it's no problem. So, Direct3D, I guess that's as high as it goes. It doesn't go to 1600 by 1200. Maybe OpenGL does? OpenGL does, but yeah, sure, why not? Let's see if this can run this at a, a reasonable, frame rate at 1600 by 1200. <laughs> uh, oh wow, it's like running perfect. Oops, uh, almost perfect. There's some screen tearing, but that's fine, you know. <laughs> Greg Kuma. So yeah, I mean, it, it seems to run perfectly fine at super high resolution on this old laptop, but again, this game was was made at least like six years before this laptop, so still, I don't know, I'm happy. I think this is a fun way to play through Half-Life, uh, you know. Then again, if you have any relatively modern computer, um, Half-Life from Steam is not really that difficult to run. I mean, it is a... 25 year old game at this point, at least. Greetings. Oh my god, the old, old one-two punch. Baited me with the fucking frame trap shit. Okay, here we go. I don't got any neutral. There we go. Does this do the... Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I guess uh, if you try to connect to internet games and search for them, then it just freezes because probably this, pr 
probably the service isn't in service anymore. Um, and like the newer Steam version uses just the regular Steam Steamworks server stuff, so it, <laughs> it's frozen. Please, uh, control alt delete. Not responding. No shock. Alright, well that was Half-Life. It was fun. I think I'll keep it on this computer because it's always fun to just boot up and play a couple levels. Alright, last game that should run because it is specifically for Windows, even though it's Windows 95. I don't see why it shouldn't work on Windows XP. I think I do remember playing this on Windows XP. Um, but, yeah, what was our... What was my first computer? I think our first computer was Windows 98. Then we upgraded to Windows 2000. My dad got it from his office. And yeah, we kept it on 2000. But after that, all my future computers were Windows XP. Yo, that was sick. All right, well. I can just play the game straight from the CD or install it. Let's just play it from the CD. I don't really feel like installing it right now. Yeah, all right, let's, let's play the game. Oh my God. <laughs> the mouse isn't working. I gotta play with the keyboard, which is kind of fine because like sometimes I do that. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. All right, let's, okay, speed run of Knee Deep in the Dead. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not, no, it's not fine. It's, like, fucking Florida Marlins. Oh, my God. What's with the speed, too? I'm not getting speed boost via strafing. Oh, wait, duh, I'm not running. I accidentally brought up the map. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Alright, can I get like... Uh... 11 second E1M1 on... Uh, this uh, No, I cannot. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Fuck. Oh my god, this is so... Bizarre. Alright, we're going we're gonna to get like... 12 seconds, okay? I gotta get 12 seconds. No, there's no way I'm getting 12 seconds. Oh my god, I can't do this. Hold on. Let's see. Alright, new game. Oh, now it's fine. That actually pisses me off, because <laughs> I was enjoying the, the fucking cotton candy, solo cup, mm, fucking eye cancer. All right, let's, let's go. Mm. Oh, I got a fucking sprint. Let's go, baby. Ah. No. <laughs> Fucker. Oh shit, what the fuck's going on? Okay, never mind. It glitched up there for a second, and then I... Oh my god, it's back! Alright. Mm, okay, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not speedrunning this right. Oh my god, let me through, buddy. Swoosh! Alright, let's see what we got. 13 seconds? I'll take it. Like, this is actually... It's got like a... Like a... An aesthetic... It's sort of like, it makes me think of the fucking maze screensaver or something. It's just garbage. We did it. All right, well, I don't really feel like playing too much more. Um, Oh, there's the specters. Oh my god, it is actually causing the computer to go fucking crazy. Whoa. Oh shit. I just, I just need to see a specter again. 
Like, it's, it's a pretty awesome effect, but then it just, for some reason, causes supreme lag. Ah, shit. That shotgun. Okay, everything, really, to be honest. I just want to see the Spectre. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, okay, now the infighting? No. Like, this, honestly, that's a pretty sick effect. Like, if anything, that's more threatening. <laughs> uh, glad to see that the, the red-blue texture is the same. Oh, never mind. Well, I think I'm good. Uh, I'm actually super happy that it turned out like that, because just playing Doom regularly would have not been exciting. <laughs> that was quite hilarious. Well, that was the last PC game I had to try um, on my T60. All in all, um, it's pretty fun. I don't know what I want to do with the T60, because I also ha I have a Linux on this uh, dual-booted, and I'm having a lot of issues with it, mainly because uh, it's just kind of just sluggy, and I think with, you know, modern kernels and modern software, it's finally showing its age. So I'm wondering if I should just keep this T60 as a Windows XP machine or something, or maybe even like Windows 7, uh, use it for like old games and stuff. So yeah, thanks for wasting your time with this video. Um, I'll think of more random stuff to make, and I'll make more videos soon. Thank you for watching and hanging out.